It's that time of year again. The women's hockey team got to celebrate with the WCHA regular season trophy Saturday. They're hoping to bring home more hardware in a couple weeks when they head to the WCHA Frozen Faceoff. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Press Pass. The men's hockey team finishes up the regular season this weekend on the road at Ohio State. The team split earlier this season when they played in Madison, which was more than four months ago. Now there is still a chance the Badgers could host a Big Ten first round playoff matchup with a couple wins and a little help this weekend. You can see it in their eyes right now. They, they want to get out there, they want the puck to drop and let's go after it. Um, and you know, you get away, uh, you don't have any distractions as you're jumping on the road to go play and uh, it's a great opponent so you don't really have to say too much to get our guys ready, they're going to know. Uh, they know what they're walking into, um, and if you're not ready, it's going to be a tough weekend. But I think our guys will be ready, and they're excited about it. It'll be a matchup of the two highest-scoring teams in Big Ten play, as both teams are averaging over three goals a game. The track and field teams are also in Ohio this weekend for the Big Ten Indoor Championships. On the men's side, the Badgers have a distance medley relay team that just smashed the school record and ranks first in the Big Ten. While on the women's side, there are two returning Big Ten champions in Taylor Amon and Georgia Ellenwood. Big Ten uh, conference is just blowing up in terms of performances over the last couple of years. For the kids going to the NC2A championships, you know, they're going, a lot of those are going to be doubling this weekend and they're going to have to um, really throw down some good marks and good performances. Um, but, you know, they're prepared for that. But, more importantly, this is about a team score. The Big Ten Championships are Friday and Saturday. BTN will show a tape-delayed version of the meet on Monday. The men's swimming and diving team is also at the conference championships this weekend. The Badgers are led by a couple seniors and a couple freshmen. But this weekend could also be the time to shine for a talented sophomore class. We're excited for it. I mean, I think they're going to be, they're going to turn some heads and, it, and it's kind of their time. Really, the strength of this team will be the middle part of the team. Uh, you have a little bit of a, some bookends with some senior leadership and some freshman youth. Uh, there's going to be great competition. I'm, I'm looking forward to our team stepping up and perhaps surprising some, some other teams. Four school records fell last year for the Badgers at the Big Ten Championships. This year's meet runs Wednesday through Saturday. The women's basketball team plays its final regular season game of the year Wednesday against Michigan State. And through the season, you can tell freshman point guard Naya Beverly has become more comfortable. Over her last three games, she's only committed one turnover. As we've watched film with her and talked to her and coach her every day, I think the, the number one word you, you are constantly preaching to freshmen is consistency. And we needed her. We, we need her to think offense even more because I think it takes less, it takes more pressure off of people like Kayla, people like Marsha Howard, uh, to, to be able to have her attacking and getting in the lane and having people respect that. The Badgers and Spartans tip off at 6 p.m. on Wednesday. And finally, it's time for our video of the week, and we're jumping back in the pool to look at Beta Nelson's performance at the Big Ten Championships. She was named the swimmer of the championships after sweeping the 100 and 200 yard backstroke, and she joined Olympic gold medalist and former Cal swimmers Natalie Coughlin and Kathleen Baker as the only women who have broken both the 50 second barrier in the 100 and the one minute 50 second mark in the 200 yard backstroke. That's the press pass. For Wisconsin Athletics, I'm Brandon Spiegel.